everybody! How are you guys doing? I'm sorry about the weird lighting. I just kind of like took my desk lamp and made it into like a, a fill light because I don't actually have one of my own. So it looks kind of harsh and weird, but that's okay. Well, I wasn't expecting actually to make a video tonight because I um, was supposed to have uh, like an assignment that I was supposed to like write a forum post for my Russian literature class, but uh, I looked online and there wasn't a prompt for it. So I'm like, okay, I guess then I'm not complaining. Um, I have free time, which is strange. <laughs> so today I went to the thrift store, which is kind of interesting, I guess. I'm weird because I really like clothes and fashion and stuff like that, but I'm also kind of a cheapskate. I don't like spending a lot of money on things. And I know that uh, thrift stores are kind of looked down upon because they're kind of where people throw all of the crap that they don't want. But I have discovered that if you know what you're looking for and you look hard enough, you can actually find some pretty good stuff for pretty cheap at a thrift store. It's, and this is really true of any kind of fashion at, at all, um, it's really less about having like the latest hippest thing and more about looking for things that fit you correctly, things that look good uh, on you specifically and um, just kind of knowing what you're looking for in that respect and that kind of stuff you can find almost anywhere. So today I decided to challenge myself. Now it was kind of funny because earlier this year I uh, took, no maybe it was last year, I can't remember, but I took my brother to the thrift store for the first time. He had never been to a thrift store before. Um, yeah, I guess that kind of reveals what <laughs> what upper middle class white people we are, but my brother had never been to a thrift store before. The reason he wanted to go was because he heard the song Thrift Shop and was curious. <laughs> so I took him to um, the Ann Arbor Thrift Shop. Now there are two uh, thrift shops on the bus route that is closest to me. The first is Salvation Army, which is probably the most popular one, and the second is called PTO Thrift Shop, which I think is really cool because what it is is it's a nonprofit, and all of the money you spend there goes towards the Ann Arbor Public Schools. There are jars, big plastic jars, right by the entrance to the store, and you can put tokens in the jar you want depending on what program you want to support. It's really neat. So I really like to shop there even though they don't have as big a selection as Salvation Army because uh, the money is going to a good cause and also it's a non-sectarian business and they don't hate gay people the way Salvation Army does. Today, in uh, I, I was thinking about the song Thrift Shop when I was going shopping and of course the line in the song says, you know, that this character who's singing only has $20. So I was thinking, if I limit myself to $20, what stuff can I actually get? So I went to PTO and I went looking for sort of more wintry clothes because it's getting cold here <laughs> in Michigan. And I realized that a lot of my clothes are not um, warm enough, I guess. I would be walking down the street and getting really cold because I have no body fat. So I decided to see what I could get for $20. Here are the results. This is probably gonna interest nobody that watches my channel, but that's okay because this is my personal channel. So I got this shirt. It is nice. It's a long sleeve. It's form fitting. And you can't really tell because the tag's in the way, but uh, it's got like a boob hole, which is kind of neat. So yeah, black. I like black. I wear shirts like this under a lot of my clothes in the winter uh, as a layer, uh, and it's really convenient. I got this shirt, which isn't exactly wintry, but I thought it was cool. And then I got another sweater that's red. It does not have a boob hole, but it is also nice, and it's form-fitting and very comfy. Oh, and then I found this. It was like 50 cents. It was cool. It's like a bow with like a thing that you put your hair in. See, actually, uh, whenever I wash my hair, it's so long and thick and stuff, it takes literally all day to dry, and I try to avoid using a blow dryer on it because that's bad for it. It dries it out, um, and having long hair, especially the ends, get dry easily. So I always try to air dry it, but I literally have to take a whole day to um, give my hair to dry. So having nice things that I can put it up in while it's still kind of wet are nice. I got some black 
oops, my tag got stuck on bag. I got some black pants, which are kind of similar to the ones I'm wearing now, but they're a little bit wider because the ones I'm wearing now are skinny jeans. And I wanted some black pants that um that would like sort of look straighter and nicer so I could dress them up more than I can the ones I have now. Here's a fact for you. Clothing was not made to fit human beings. It's true. It's true. And people will talk about, you know, like, oh, I wish I was thinner or skinnier and then I could fit into clothes better. B.S. Let me tell you something. Even if you are the skinniest, like, person ever, there is going to be something about your body that is going to make it impossible to fit into things. For me, especially with pants, it's the height, the size of my butt, you know, um, or, you know, size of boobs. Like, it's just clothes are not made to be, it's less about size and more about proportion, and nothing is proportional. It's impossible. But I did find a pair of pants that fit me, so that's good. I found this sweater dress, which is really sweet. It's red and black. And it's got uh, button embellishments on it, which is very cool. Red and black are like my favorite colors, if you haven't noticed. I got a skirt with a belt. The belt's nice because I can take it off and use it for other things. That's another big thing about clothes that you should know. When you're shopping, to make the most out of what you're getting, get things that are versatile. Get things that you can use for multiple purposes. Get things that you can dress up, dress down. Uh, and that, that fit you well so that you can wear them for a long time. That's really the key uh, to being successful at shopping for clothes and stuff. I have clothes that I've had for years and years and years. And because they are, I guess, neutral enough, uh, they're mature enough, and because they fit well enough and they're well made, they're versatile and they're useful and you can keep them for a long time. So it's worth any of the money you spend on it and as I said before I'm kind of cheap so a lot of the clothes I actually don't spend that much on so it's really about strategy actually and last but not least this shirt and again it's black uh, this is something that I would wear a tank top underneath but it's nice because uh, wearing a tank top underneath it means that I can actually get use out of my tank tops even in the winter. I can use them as an underlayer to embellish something that is already, you know, that's on top. Um, so again, it sort of puts my other things to use so that they're not just sitting there all winter because I have scent beads in my closet. So that was $20. Um, yeah, so it is possible to buy things uh, with just $20 in your pocket. And I, I have demonstrated that tonight. It was really strange when I was in PTO because it was as if everyone had conspired together to bring in their dogs. And these were not like seeing eye dogs or something like that. These were just people bringing in their dogs. When I was at the checkout, there was just like the, the sweetest, like nicest couple. And they were, they were obviously like conservative Jewish. The man was wearing a the yarmulke and the woman was had her head covered and they were dressed very conservatively and they had a dog and when I was walking home or walking back to the bus stop uh, they started they rode past me very happily and they were riding on a tandem bike with the dog on a leash and it was just, it was just the cutest thing like people are awesome and when they were walking out of the store another guy who was in line next to them they all stood together and this guy had a photo album of pictures of his dog uh, that was at home and so they just like sat there or stood there and were talking about dogs it was just the cutest thing ever and the lady at the cash register was just so charmed by the fact that everyone was obsessed with dogs in the store that day it was definitely worth the entire day that it took to take the bus, which is a pain in the butt. And also there was a hockey game tonight, so the roads were terrible and people were driving like idiots. But it was worth it, uh, just to kind of see the people that were out there and, uh, and have these experiences. Oh, I'm, uh, working, I'm starting working on a new photography project, so maybe I'll talk a little bit about that at some point. Um, and I would also like to talk a little bit more about, like, my pinhole camera and stuff like that. So I have more ideas. I'm just, they're not coming out of my mouth tonight. But I will see you guys 